If you guys have a Toyota Highlander with a sunroof, you're gonna wanna watch this video. I'm gonna explain to you a design fall that these Highlanders have that causes rainwater to leak inside the cabin and ruin all your carpets. And then I'm gonna show you how you can very cheaply yourself fix this once and for all. If you're getting standing water down here in the floorboard, um, right now this is all dry because this side's been fixed and it's been cleaned out. This low spot here underneath your carpet is the first place you're gonna feel it. You push down here, you'll feel water. The problem is not going to go away. It's going to get worse. Here's what you got going on. All right, so on the sunroof, if you push this little panel down, you'll see there's a drain hole. There's one on this side and there's one on that side in the same exact spot. This kind of seals, but it doesn't completely seal. It allows rainwater on your roof to go down into this channel and drain down that drain hole. Not an issue. That drain hole comes down this drain to, in, in a tube down this A-pillar back down inside here and all the way down to here. The problem is that it does not go out of the vehicle. It drips into a metal cavity that is in between here and here. And then the theory, what Toyota thought would happen, is down here, this pinch weld that runs all the way across here, it will just seep out of there. This whole cavity in here eventually gets clogged with dirt and debris and stuff like that. And then the drain water fills up the cavity back behind here and then starts to drip out of the holes back behind this panel and run down into your floor. Same exact thing happens on the other side. Really stupid design flaw in the Highlander. And then there's some other vehicles that has it too. Because it's always going to get clogged and there's no way to really clean that cavity out well without disassembling all this. And the fix for this is not difficult and it's not expensive and I am going to give you all the information that you need so you don't have to buy an endoscope um, camera which I mean is still a handy thing to have for 30 bucks but you don't have to buy an endoscope camera you can just follow the steps that I put in here the driver's side is already done the passenger side is what I'm going to do for you guys and once you do this it's done problem solved. You're going to need a couple of flathead screwdrivers helps for popping off the plugs. The only thing you'll probably need to buy is this. This is one half inch outer diameter vinyl tubing. That's what you're going to use to extend the tubes outside the vehicle. The first thing you're going to do is pop off this panel right here. It just comes out with a couple of clips. You pull up on it pops out of these metal clips here, these plastic clips here. This is the second panel that would be in place. This one, same thing. The only difference is up here, there's a little screw. It has this little guy on it. Unscrew this thing, connects it there. After you've unscrewed that, this panel, again, just start pulling on it and it comes out. Two clips holding it in place. One clip right here, and then that round piece clip that goes in right there, which is that guy. And that just pops right out. Now you have access to where you need to get to to fix this problem. To get access to it, you gotta remove this electrical box here. There's a blue one on the driver's side, the one over here you saw in the video, that, that one's blue, this one's white. Mine is already loose, it's already partially out. So the first thing you're gonna do is unclip all these connections out of this junction box so you can get this box out of the way. I'll probably block some of this, but you guys can get the gist. Let's start popping these clips out. Each one of these has a little push tab. Some of them come out easier than others. They're one for one. They won't fit in the wrong ones. Also take this one out. This one, this little pull thingy. And on clips. And just try and shove these things out of the way as best you can. This junction box has a tab underneath here. It has three, it has one here, one up here on the left, and then one up here on the right. Mine all were popped already except for that one there. to the cavity. 
But I got the little endoscope cam out here so I can show you guys what I'm talking about back in this cavity. So inside this cavity, that is the drain tube. Comes all, or runs all the way up in between and goes all the way up to that drain hole you see in the sunroof. It goes all the way down here and see how this side looks and it dumps down there. Now my passenger side is pretty dry and pretty cleaned out. My drainage was coming from the driver's side but that cavity down there is what will get clogged, filled up with crud and crap, and then will start to back up and spill into your vehicle. Right above this opening is that. And I'll show you the underside of it now that it's open. That's a plat that is a black plastic box and it passes through the interior metal, right? The interior metal right here into this cavity. That is where we're gonna reroute our drain line so that when we close all this stuff up, we can have access to the drain line to extend it so that it goes out the bottom of the vehicle. Now for the fun part. Now, I'm gonna take my big mittens and I'll actually show you guys. You pull this tube out here. That's it. That's how they terminate it. Just angle cut, drips into the car. Dumb, super dumb. No standing water on this side, which is nice. What I'm doing now is I'm basically jamming it up, looping up kind of into that box, into the back of that box, and then pushing it in. Just kind of cram it into that box. And then I reach up into the box and I can feel it, but I can't quite. Oh, it's coming. Oh, there we go. Then I just keep working it out. Boom, shalaka. Cool. And now I got it out. So I have access to it passing through the vehicle. Give it a tug to make sure it's not kinked on anything. And I know from doing the other side, it actually doesn't kink. What I did on the other side was after I had done this, I ran the scope back in there to look to make sure the, the tube itself didn't get kinked when I did it. There we go. All right. Get our box back in place. This time I'm going to clip it. All right. Now we start plugging stuff back in, which is much quicker and easier and getting everything disconnected. Cool. Everything clicked back in place. Now for the fix. Actually, that would be, it would be a little bit smoother now that I see these wires. I'm just trying to pick the, the, the smoothest line. That's pretty smooth. So you're gonna need access to under the carpet and the bottom of the car. Everything is kind of disconnected. You got two clips here, a carpet clip here, and a carpet clip here. And these just pop out. Here we go, little clips. Little clips. Then you start this, pulling your carpet back to get to. This is a rubber grommet in the bottom of the car. <clears throat> Metal, you saw from the other side. Down below here is plastic. That plastic is the plastic shell bottom that actually has lots of openings to drain the water out because it's just cosmetic. You're gonna drill a hole in this big enough to squeeze your tube through. And then you're going to take the tube that you bought, one half inch outer diameter. The outer diameter is key because the outer diameter is what allows it to just fit up in there. Take a hasty measurement before you cut, which I will do now to basically check that 
if I jam it up in there about that far I have enough line you want it to be a little bit loose because you want to be able to you know run it underneath the carpet here without it stretching obviously you want your carpet back in here flush so that will give me enough so then we cut and take your new cut tube I found it helps to actually pinch this to get it through that's it I always leave a little wiggle room here just to make sure that this is down in there because the last thing I would want is for this to come loose and defeat the whole purpose because now I'm full-on routing water into my car and then for this connection let's get it wet so but that is why you want the half inch because it that's the key to make this not be a lot of work is the half inch basically get a little bit more wet it's dirty basically fits in there perfect see that snug fit watertight obviously this isn't like pressure this is drip water if you want to glue it or whatever that's fine but it's not like you really got to get a super tight seal you just need a way for gravity fed drip water to get out of your car i do hit it with a piece of tape and this is just because i'm going to put everything back together this is all covered i figure why not for some reason it goes to the dealer and they're doing something weird and they pull on this tube i don't want it to just easily i don't want it to come out and then i pick a spot you know down here to just kind of route this thing make sure that it's it's got enough play that when the carpet's here if somebody's stepping with their foot it's doing that it's just pushing it this way next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to show you i'm going to test it there it goes water from the roof properly draining out of the vehicle instead of just into a random cavity in your car Now, all you have left is reassembly, put the carpet back down, and you've got a proper draining system. Never have to worry about that clogging again. Now you can hit the, the holes up here with pressured air, and it will blow any dirt out of the tube, if you do get dirt in the tube. With it sitting in this cavity before, you could blow pressured air through here all day long. All that shows you is that your drain tube isn't clogged, but it will not show you it getting clogged inside the actual vehicle because the air is just going to come out the bottom of that tube into that cavity. There we go. That's me like it. Last thing you're definitely going to want to do is hit that like button. Really appreciate it. Hope this video helped you guys out and solved a bunch of people's problems and saved them a bunch of money from the dealership.